It's Funko Friday! Hey everybody and welcome to Connie Loves Disney. If you love all kind of cool, fun Disney content, you've come to the right place. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the continued support. It's so appreciated. Today is Friday and usually on Fridays, I know I haven't done this in a while, it is Funko Friday. Um, on Fridays, I try to highlight um, new Funkos that have come into my collection or show you some of my existing over 500 Disney Funko Pops that I have. Um, but today is going to be all new ones that have been sitting and waiting for a while. I just have not had the opportunity to film. It's just been a crazy couple of months and everything. But hopefully soon things will settle down more and I'll be able to film a lot more. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We have about seven or eight new Funko Pops. So we'll go ahead and start with uh, the first one. And the first one is actually an Amazon exclusive one. And it is from one of my favorite characters to collect and that is Stitch. And this is it right here. This is the VHS um, Amazon exclusive one right here. And this is it right here. Um, Recently, Amazon started doing a collection of these um, that are like VHS, supposed to be like the VHS um, covers and everything. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I'm just really bummed that the one that I really wanted of all of these was the Beauty and the Beast VHS one. And that one, unfortunately, was a Target exclusive and I was never able to get it from Target. So maybe one of these days I'll find it um, on Mercari or eBay or something. But till then, I've got the stitch one. So here's the stitch one right here. It's out of the, I took it out of the box, so to speak. Um, this one is really cool because it's him with Lilo and Stitch. Kind of looks like the VHS tape in the back. It actually isn't a hard stack. Um, that's what these are called when you get a, um, some Funkos have like the protectors, like a plastic protector you buy. But this is actually a hard stack and they come this way. I'm going to leave this one in this and probably put it back inside the box um, and just have it on display that way. I'm not going to take this one out of the box, even though I'm out of, I am an out-of-box collector now. Um, but it does say pop right here. It's just really cute. I think it looks so cute. It's him on a little surfboard and everything. This is just so cute. So, you know, you know I have a lot of Stitch Funkos. Um, that's probably my biggest collection is the Stitch Funkos. So I had to have that one. So when you see it, it's back inside the box like that. But it is just really cute. And it's um, just a really cute one right there. So there's that one right there. This one is also another one of the Amazon exclusive VHS ones. And it recently came out. I didn't even know that this one was out. I just happened to be scrolling on Amazon and, you know, they would give you suggestions of things to buy. You're like, mm-hmm. And, but I actually took them up on this suggestion and it is the Little Mermaid one right here. And this one is really cool. I mean, I just recently, thanks to my cousin, the Food Cat, got the little VHS pin set. And this one actually does look like the um, BH um, also. And this one actually is another Amazon exclusive one right there. So I just thought this was really cool. Again, this one is in a hard stack. So let me get this one out also so you can see a little bit better. Um, I always open mine from the bottom. I mean, so I've seen some people open theirs from the top. Um, you know, I prefer to do it from the bottom just because if I do, you know, tear it, you know, God forbid, I mean, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, anymore because I'm an out-of-box collector, but other people would be like, oh, no, don't tear it and everything. Um, but this is it right here and everything. So this is it. And again, like I said, it's in a hard stack. And it's just a really cool looking Funko Pop. I like this one. Um, it looks like the VHS tape. She's sitting on a little rock right there singing, you know, hoping for Prince Eric and everything. But this is a really cool one also. So that one is cool. Again, this one will stay inside the box. I'm not going to take it out. Um, that's kind of like the whole point to the VHS ones is to kind of just show it like that. Um, I like it like this and I will keep this one inside like that and that's very cool. So we have some more to show you. The next one like I said um, I already took them out of the box only because I was try tried filming this uh, earlier about a week almost a week ago 
and somehow I lost the whole video. So I had to refilm it. And for the life of me, I could not get it back inside the box. I, I, I'm i serious, I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. But it is um, a Mickey Mouse one, and it is Mickey on the plane, on the, in the mouse, and if you're not familiar with that, um, th this is actually Walt's plane, and I think these came out for D23 and everything, and it is a pop ride, and this is him right there. So I do have it out of the box, and this is him right here. He's just so cute. Look at him. He's riding the little airplane. This one I actually was able to get via Amazon also. Um, they actually have them on sale now. And I, um, I actually um, waited for it. And I wasn't going to get it. But then Amazon, they were like $30. And then Amazon had them for $20. So for $19.99. And plus I have Prime. So I don't pay shipping. Um, I was able to get him for like 19 so that's not bad. He's really cute. He's in Walt's plane and everything. And it's cute because you can see the little Mickey Mouse right there, the little mouse right there. And actually, um, I know they had Walt's plane at D23 um, about a month ago when they had D23. And it's actually being transported to a um, museum, I believe, in um, Palm Springs. So that's definitely going to be a road trip I'm going to have to make once it's all settled and go see his plane and everything. And so I'm sure they'll have an exhibit and everything. And we'll film that for maybe one of my um, Thursday, day trip Thursdays or something. But this is really cool. I just thought this was such a cute one right there. That's so cute. Little Mickey Mouse in the plane. Mm. So I'll put him over there with all my other Mickey Mouse ones. So we have a few more to show you. The next one, like I said, is another Stitch one. And this one is an actually, it is a GameStop exclusive. And this is the Gamer Stitch one right there. And I thought this was so cute um, because he's playing video games. I mean, of course, it's from GameStop. Um, I do like um, to collect the exclusive ones more than the regular ones. So, I mean, I have passed on some of them, um, but I do have quite a, a huge collection of Stitch ones. Um, so this is him right there. And it's so cute. You can see him right there. He's got little headphones on. He's got the controller, the little tongue out. Like, mm, he's practiced playing to play. This one has a little bass right here, which is funny because he is sitting, you know, pretty flat. But um, like I said, they most of them now come with these little bases, and you can tell that there's a need. They have a base because it's like a little hole right there that you can put this on, and it just kind of fits in like that, and it helps them to stand up straight. Especially if you take them out of the box and everything, and that's cute. Um, a while back, I had mentioned that, um, and my friend, uh, one of the other YouTubers that I've become friends with, her name is Pam, and she is with uh, Coco for Disney. She has a great channel called Coco for Disney. So please check out her channel and everything. She does Funkos, and she gave me a shout out, and I appreciate that. But um, I had mentioned to Pam about the Funko Pops. Cause she does have some and sometimes they are kind of top heavy and they'll fall over especially if you have them at, out of the box and everything they do can fall out fall over or when you're dusting them yes i do dust all these funko pops and you know they fall over and then you know you don't want them to get broken or anything especially if you have them in the box so um one trick that i use to put like on the bottom if they don't have the stamp um because some like some of the older ones did not come with stands and for some reason and but I use this right here this is the like the putty that I had mentioned and she had mentioned in her videos that um when she shows her Funko Pops that I um did ask me what I used so this is exactly what I buy um I bought this like, like at Walmart it actually was on clearance for like a dollar and stuff like this bag and it just um it's just like this little fun tack stuff you can get it at Walmart or Target or even in Amazon um, but the little packs like this and you just need a very small amount You just kind of take a little piece off kind of roll it like between your fingers And then if I didn't have a stand like say stitch didn't have a stand You could just stick a little piece like right here on his tushy maybe right there and it will stand him up and everything And he'll be fine and it won't it doesn't damage your uh, Furniture that you're putting on like my bookshelves it doesn't damage them. It doesn't damage your Funko Pop It just pulls off it peels off very easily doesn't leave them all sticky or gooey. You don't have to get like goop off or anything like that to get it off. It doesn't damage them in any way. And um, so that's kind of what I use is something like this. Like I said, 
it's just a very easy thing to you to utilize um, to put things up in case your Funko Pops fall over because um, some of the like if you collect Disney some the Marvel ones are bobbleheads and you know they're top heavy and you know it could move and they fall over sometimes um, but I use that to keep mine up but like I said this stitch is just so cute right there Oops, there goes the stand um, I didn't have it in right but that's so cute you can see him right there he's sitting there playing the video game but I just thought this was a really cute one to go with my my collection so we have a few more so let me show you those okay the next one is another stitch one and this one is a Entertainment Earth exclusive one. And this is the annoyed Stitch. And he's like, oh, he's having a really bad day. He's annoyed and everything. He's probably annoyed because he's been in this box for a while. I've had it for quite a while sitting here. Um, like I said, this is an Entertainment Earth exclusive one. So let me get this one out of the box so you guys can see him a little bit better. Oh, here he is right there. And he's like, oh, pulling his eyes. He's had a really bad day we all can sympathize with stitch sometimes we all feel that way i'm sure but this is just so cute and like i said this one does not have a stand because you can see there's no holes on the bottom of his feet so this one would be perfect to put that little uh, tacky glue thing if i really needed to to help him stand up and everything and so um yeah but this one is so cute he's like oh goodness goodness he's having a really bad day uh but that's so cute. And like I said, it is an Entertainment Earth exclusive one. So, you know, you know, I had to get this one. So he's just so cute because I just think the cutest stitch is such a cute. It's so cute. Okay, so I have like three more to show you. And kind of going with that airplane one that I showed you, the Mickey airplane, is another one that I purchased on Amazon. It was on sale. And it was, it's the Pilot Mickey Mouse one right there. And I thought this was so cute. Um... I wasn't going to get this one, but I think it was like, you know, $7 or something on sale on Amazon. So for that price, I just go ahead and got that one when I got the airplane one. Um, because I figured, you know, I had the airplane. I didn't need the other pilot one. But for the price, it wasn't bad. And like I said, and these are going for a lot more on the uh, Funko app. Um, like I said, I don't collect for value. I collect what I like and everything. But I decided it was cute because it like it does, you know, kind of commemorate, you know, Walt's plane and everything. And so I just thought it was really cute, you know, something different. Mickey Mouse in his little pilot outfit. That is so cute. You can see it right here. It's very cute. Like I said, this one again, no holes. So he would be perfect for that, that tape again. And like I said, this one is really cute also. There he is with his, oh, I'm trying, don't drop him. And he's got the little outfit on. Just so cute. Okay, so we got two more. And no, no more stitch ones. Um, this one is actually from uh, Princess and the Frog. And I guess there was a recall or something on the original one. Because there was a misspelling on it. But um, this one actually is a box lunch exclusive one. And this one is... And this one is a box box lunch exclusive one. And this one is the Mama Odi with the snake right there. And this is from the Princess and the Frog. And you can see it right there. Just really cute. So let me get this one out of the box so you can see her a little bit better. Here she is right here. And she said she did come with the stand. And it's a really cool one. Like I said, I like Princess and the Frog and everything. And it's nice that she's finally getting, you know, more recognition and everything. I like the story behind it. I, Princess Tiana, you know, as you know, Belle and Ariel are my favorites. But Princess Tiana, you have to give respect to. I mean, she's a hardworking girl and everything. And I can totally understand that she's worked hard for her goals and to make them come true and everything. And I totally understand that. You know, I've worked hard all my life. You know, to be able to, you know, be this fun Disney, you know, adult and everything and have fun. Um, so I kind of, I get it. But this Mama Odie one is just awesome. I think it's so cool. I mean, the character is so cool. Um, you know, she's got little sunglasses on. She's got the snakes on, snake on right there. Just a really cool uh, Funko Pop to add to my um, uh, Princess and the Frog collection. And like I said, I do have some of the other ones that you can get. I do have like the Dr. Facilier and the other ones that are on the back right here just really cool and i don't know i don't think i have the little alligator though i don't have the little alligator but i'll have to look beyond the hunt for that one but still very cool ones so like i said i have one more to show you and like i said um 
As you know, I predominantly collect Disney. When I mean Disney, I mean like the animated Disney. I mean, I have some of the, um, what they call it, life ones or something. Um, I have a few from Beauty and the Beast and everything. I have like Mary Poppins, but I think that's more the animated Mary Poppins. Um, and I have a very, I don't really collect Star Wars at all. I do have a small Star Wars collection, um, but it's not even on display. And I do have a very small, even smaller uh, Marvel collection. Um, the Marvel collection I do have is mostly um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I have a few, and then I have a few from the latest Thor movie um, because I got them at a really good deal and everything. And I just, I liked that movie. It was cool to like see Jane and see her as a um, superhero and everything. So going with that one, I actually, Amazon had this one on sale. And it is this one right here. And this is from Thor, um, Love and Thunder. This is the goat boat with Thor, Tooth Snasher, and Tooth Grinder. And this one is just such a cool Funko Pop. I mean, this one I, I think is, um, you know, I've seen it in other places and it's a lot more money. Amazon had it on sale for like 20 bucks. And once I get it out of the box, you're gonna see exactly why I bought it. It's just so cool. And I love the scene, you know, with the ghosts and everything. And if you've seen the movie, you understand where they're like, ah, yelling and everything. It's just so funny and everything. So definitely, unfortunately, I'm not good at putting clips in and stuff like that. I would, you know, copy from the movie. But if you've seen the movie, you, you understand. If you haven't seen the movie, you know, I'm sure it's probably on Disney Plus now. Um, you know, definitely check it out. It is a fun Marvel movie to watch. So let me get it out of the box so you guys can see a little bit better. Here's the Funko, and it is huge. Look at this. This is awesome. I really, I just love how you've got this rainbow thing that they're running on, and they're like when they're flying and everything. You've got both of them right here. You have the boat. As you can see, he is a bobblehead. The Marvel ones are bobbleheads. I think maybe that was a concept when they agreed with Funko to have them as bobbleheads. Um, but look at this, the little two slayers, you're like, ah, and everything. It even says Asgard Tours on the boat and everything. It is just an amazing looking Funko. This is awesome. Check this out. I mean, this is too cool. You know, I don't think it would make it cooler if it glowed in the dark or something. But this is too cool. Look at this all the way around. You've got all this detail on it and everything. It is just really neat and everything. And um, like I said, this is why I take them out of the box now. So you can see all the detail that goes into them and everything like that. Um, like I said, I don't plan on collecting more of the God and Love and Thunder ones. I just thought it was a great deal. It's a cool scene. It's a funny scene in the movie. And, you know, it's just an awesome looking Funko Pop. It's huge and everything. This is like going to take up half of one of my shelves and everything. Um, but it, to me, it was a really cool one and everything. And I just thought it was funny because the scene in the movie is hysterical with those, you know, the ghosts go yelling, ah, and everything. But um, that's going to kind of wrap up our Funko Friday for today. If I had to pick my favorites, I actually couldn't. I would say they're all my favorites. I... I think I really love the little Mickey in the airplane. I think he's so cute and everything. Um, and of course, all my Stitch ones and my Little Mermaid. I mean, I love all of them. Um, let me know down below what was your favorite one for today. And let me know if you collect, have any of these. If we're Funko Pop twins or anything, I'd love to know that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscription button. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And you guys all take care and have a magical day. Bye-bye, everybody.